respected everybody a very good evening today my topic for presentation is thrombo angiitis of the trans so by definition thrombo angiitis of the trans is a chronic non atherosclerotic segmental obliterative inflammatory vasculopathy of the medium and small sized arteries and veins if you go back to the history in 1879 felix von winiwater he observed in a 57 year old man with prolonged foot pain and gangrene which ultimately led to limb loss in fact it was the first published case of critical limb ischemia years after in 1908 this gentleman leo berger was an austrian american a pathologist a urologist and a surgeon after developing his surgical skills from germany in 1906 he found an unusual form of progressive vaso occlusion in polish and russian immigrants based on his findings he published a monograph approximately 500 patients in 1924 and he coined the term thromboangiitis obliterans if you see the epidemiology this most patients of this burgess disease are found in middle east asia and eastern europe however its uh, striking characteristics are found in more common in men however this gender discrimination is fading away as more women in modern world are uh, inclined towards smoking however there's a decreasing trend in the united states and the japan Uh, which are approximately 10 to 12 cases per 1 lakh is found in America, and approximately the ratio reduced from 1 is to 3 to 1 is to 10 in Japan. You see the risk factors. Undoubtedly, smoking is one of the cause of thromboangiitis obliterans, whatever form it may be, whether it's BD, mostly used in India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, common smoking in Indonesia, Kio in Thailand. Smoke. it creates an endothelial dysfunction state it reduces the nitric oxide and activation of enzymes leading to increased production of reactive oxygen species it creates a prothrombotic environment which increasing in prothrombotic substances as at the same time reduces the antithrombotics and fibrinolytic substances low socioeconomic status in article published by uh, mohsen ahud in uh, iran he found out that absence of professional identity and lack of uh, long term professional goals the people more tend towards this uh, habits like smoking or opium intake a uh, poor oral hygiene oral cavity is a large reservoir of gram negative bacteria uh, while brushing or chewing or flossing this bacteria might get their way into the blood circulation and finally land up in the vessels and cause damage to the endothelium and start the process of called thrombosis in studies it was found that the inflamed tissue of the periodontal region has interleukin 1 and tnf alpha which are inflammatory markers nutritional deficiency folic deficiency has been identified one of the risk factors infections however the only pathogens that got attention in tao are uh, rickettsia and oral bacteria arsenic intoxication arsenic found its way into the tobacco smoke especially while in tobacco farming and also arsenic use as an adulterant in cocaine amphetamine and cannabis etiology the immune mediated injury is one of the first cause there is increased cellular sensitivity to collagen 1 3 and 4 is found in patients of tao compared to other atherosclerosis or peripheral arterial diseases there is a high levels of pro inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 13 interleukin 6 and tnf alpha and cellular immunity mediators like interferon gamma and interleukin 12 whereas humoral immunity like interleukin 4 5 and interleukin 13 there's a high serum levels of interleukin 17 22 23 and 33 whereas a reduction in interleukin 10 high mobility group box 1 is a protein it's a pro inflammatory cytokine which is found in higher uh, amounts in patients with tao compared to non smokers or healthy controls There's increased intercellular adhesion molecules and vascular cell adhesion molecules one, which are the key regulators of vascular permeability. Genetics: approximately one percent of cases in Japan are familial. In England, the report suggests that approximately most half of the people have this uh, gene morphism uh, like HLA A9 and B5. In Israel, it is HLA DR4. It is increasing. and which is a reduced trends of hla drw6 the not indian population in an article published by an immunogenetics of 
uh, peripheral arteriopathies, which is found that in North Indian population, HLA DRB1 1501 is mostly predominant. The sudden interaction between the smoking and gene polymorphism, which reduced to a reduced level of nitric oxide, which is a potent vasodilator in the vessel. Hypercoagulable states, there's a low clot permeability and prolonged clot crisis time in TAO patients compared to other types of peripheral arterial diseases. This increased the thrombin formation and this high level of urokinase plasminogen activator and reduced levels of plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 in the internal elastic lamina. Interestingly, D dimer released from the clots is markedly slower in patients of TAO. Oral infection inflammatory pathway. The infectious focal, including the oral and throat infections, it might serve as a contributing factor towards the TAO. This increased immunoglobulin G titers against the Triponema denticola uh, species, which is especially found in uh, colonizers in the tooth infections. See the pathology, three stages are there. Acute phase, the thrombus is formed, which includes neutrophils and Jain cells. It occludes the vessel lumen but spares the wall. And the microapsis starts formation here. The subacute phase, the progressive disorganization of the thrombus takes place in the microapsis receptors. In the chronic phase, the inflammation is no longer present and organized thrombus and perivascular fibrosis is seen. This is a HND stain uh, slide which is showing um, uh, microvascular abscess and occluded thrombus in the vessel in a patient of TAO. The clinical features being intermittent claudication, usually patient present with foot arch claudication. They have sensitivity to cold. Uh, this uh, foot pain may be misdiagnosed or uh, towards the orthopedic problems, and see they have to be uh, should be worked with in a proper way. Rest pain which ultimately is a severe form of claudication, ulcer and gangrene. The recurrent, <coughs> recurrent migratory superficial thrombophlebitis. This infection of the superficial veins mostly in common defense might not be affected in Burgess disease. And the absent of feeble pulses, especially from the distal pulses. It may present as Raynaud's phenomenon. So diagnostic criteria was uh, Mainly by these three criteria: one is Shionoya criteria, all in criteria, and Japanese Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. In Shionoya criteria, it was uh, devised in uh, 1998. The onset of age before 45 years, there's a smoking history, intrapopetal artery occlusions, upper limb involvement or phlebitis migraines, absence of atherosclerotic risk factors other than smoking. All in criteria, which is devised in 2000, onset before the age of 45 current or recent tobacco use, distal extremity ischemia, wrist pain, ischemic ulcers, gangrene, documented with non-invasive testing, laboratory tests to exclude autoimmune or connective tissue disorders and diabetes mellitus, <coughs> exclude a proximal source of emboli with echocardiography and arteriography, it demonstrate consistent arteriographic findings in the involved and clinically non-involved limbs. So when a patient presents to us, young smoker with a compatible clinical presentation is to take a detailed cardiovascular examination including ankle breaking index indices and LNS test to see the patency of the radial and ulnar arteries. Alternate etiology suggested by physical examination or testing if yes evaluate for the alternate diagnosis if no go for um, um, investigation like angiography if angiography findings are consistent with TAO for thrombinitis obliterans if they are not consistent, then evaluate for other etiologies. So, investigations mainly uh, so come with laboratory investigations, complete blood pictures. Several studies found that uh, TAO patients are mostly normocytic, normochromic anemia, approximately 40%. This is inverse correlation between hemoglobin and duration of smoking, which is not anticipated. Platelet count sometimes may be normal. There may be thrombocytosis or thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytosis patients usually land up in major amputations. Increased platelet response to serotonin is found in these patients of TAO. Immunological markers like anti-cardiolipin antibodies are usually found positive in these patients. Duplex ultrasound, which is Doppler plus B-mode ultrasound, is a monophasic waveform pattern in the collaterals, uh, which is also known as martyral sign. In a study in, conducted in Poland, 
diabetic patients of EAO versus healthy individuals, they found a reduction of reversed diastolic flow amplitude with low peak systolic amplitude. This uh, and the reduced vascular uh, resistive index. Uh, this is because of increased collateral blood flow and reduced vascular resistance in the cutaneous arteries. The system index is uh, helpful in early diagnosis of TAO and maintaining and monitoring disease progression as well. Cardiac investigation to rule out any proximal source of embolite into the extremity, ultrasound abdomen to rule out any proximal source as from abdominal aortic aneurysms or an atherosclerotic aorta. Next, the local part is any ischemical serration, which uh, signs and symptoms of uh, super infection to rule out osteomyelitis. Angiography. The findings may be suggestive of uh, TAO, but not always pathognomonic. Uh, uh, angiography findings of TAO are involvement of small and medium sized arteries, digital arteries of fingers and toes are mostly involved, the segmental occlusion, diseased artery segments interspersed with normal appearing segments, the more severe disease distally, tapering or abrupt arterial occlusion with collateralization around the areas of occlusion described as cause through collaterals. A spider leg or tree root appearance which is not pathognomonic, normal proximal arteries free of atherosclerosis, aneurysm, or other sources of emboli. This picture you can see uh, tibials and cause two patterns in tibials and in the ulnar and tibials. Treatment lifestyle modifications, of course, forms the basic criteria of which smoking cessation is absolutely the primary cornerstone of treatment. Either the patient is given a choice whether to smoke or uh, to limb. Mostly opt to smoke as well. And smoking cessation includes counseling, uh, counseling programs to the patients, pharmacotherapy with bupropion and varicycline. And uh, however, nicotine replacement is not a good idea as disease progress continues even in nicotine patches. Limb salvage in a, in a stage when patient reaches critical limb ischemia, then smoking cessation has no rule and it must not be sufficient. Exercise training, regular exercises, approximately 30 minutes uh, for three to five days per week. Uh, studies showed, shows that uh, pain-free walking is improved in 180% and maximal walking distance was increased by 120% in these patients. This exercise triggers the release of circulating plasma cells from bone marrow and homing them into the vascular networks. Hand, foot, and dental care, avoidance of trauma, <coughs> sorry, avoidance of trauma, whether it's dermal or cold injury, any injury should be promptly treated and should uh, guide the attention of the patient immediately to a uh, healthcare physician. Adequate oral hygiene and to prevent the formation of biofilms uh, in uh, periodontal treatment. Pharmacotherapy. Calcium channel blockers like nifedipine, uh, they are used mostly in Raynaud's phenomenon. Prostacycline analogs, these are main products of arachidonic acid metabolites in the endothelium. They support into vasodilators and smooth muscle cell relaxation agents. They inhibit platelet aggregation, chemotaxis, and proliferation. Apoprostinol is a freeze dried product. Ileoprost is a stable and a synthetic analog of apoprostinol. It down regulates the expression of intercellular addition molecules 1, endothelial addition molecule 1, it inhibits the lymphocyte addition to the endothelium. Phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors, uh, they increase the cyclic AMP in the cell, which in turn uh, relaxes the smooth muscle cells and reduces the platelet aggregation. Phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor 5, sildenafil and tadalafil, they increase the cyclic GMP in the cell and hence thereby reduce the calcium and increase the nitric oxide and thereby cause smooth muscle relaxation and vasodilation. Endothelial receptor antagonists like Bose and Tong specifically targets the two transmembrane receptors like ETA and ETB. It has got a vasodilatory effect, anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic properties. Bose and Tong is found to be useful in patients with TAO and ischemic lesions. Folate supplementation, this one randomized controlled trial coming from Iran, which showed a five milligram folic acid supplementation versus placebo in 30 patients of TAO, they found that folate definitely has uh, homocysteine lowering effects and thereby reducing the symptoms. Statins, however, they improve and restore the endothelial functions and reduce the oxidative stress and inflammation. Analgesia, 
through opioids and estates or antidepressants. The spinal cord stimulation, when all other uh, when all other uh, forms are ineffective, spinal cord stimulation definitely can be used. Uh, it prevents the transmission of painful stimuli in the particular dermatomes. It also inhibits a neurotransmitter, uh, inhibitory neurotransmitters in the spinal cord. It inhibits the sympathetic vasoconstriction and thereby increases the microcirculation. And spinal cord stimulation, this you can in picture you can see that it comes with rechargeable batteries and electrodes are being placed in the spinal cord. Surgery, however, uh, most surgeons might not venture into it. Sympathectomy, as the, we don't have a particular landing zone, as a distant, this is goes from distant to proximal. Sympathectomy, either lumbar or uh, chemical sympathectomy, distal revascular radiation, omental transfer. We have two. Uh, studies coming from the Molana Azad Medical College, uh, Dr. Bhai Rav, Dr. Ramteke, they found that approximately 80% is complete healing and approximately 100% limb salvage through omental transfer. <coughs> the distal venous arterialization, which was performed even first by uh, Dr. Uh, H.T. Veera Reddy, sir, who is a founder chairman of Director of Vascular Surgery Department of our College, and wound care, however, wound toilet. Topical agents with elimination of necrotic tissue and infection, um, maintaining moist environment and management of wound uh, margins is the hallmark of wound care in patients with PAO. However, uh, costly procedures like uh, hyperbaric oxygen and uh, negative pressure wound therapy might be useful in these patients. Other therapies like immunoabsorption, uh, it, it's a technique in which uh, the selective removal of circulating antibodies and immunoglobulins from the patient's own blood is done. It has got complete, near complete pain relief, increased maximal distance walking, and it increases tissue perfusions. Growth factors are fibroblast growth factors and vascular endothelial growth factors. Over unresponsive to standard interventions, these treatments can be used. Stem cells, angioblast, which are isolated from the bone marrow of the patient's own bone marrow. It can be incorporated into sites of active angiogenesis, which helps in re-endothelialization. In this picture, you can see uh, the stages in where uh, immunoabsorption and stem cells are used. There's a gradual healing of the ulcer and almost uh, limb is saved and uh, toe is also saved. Thank you, sir.